Hey everybody, this is David at Barnyard Bees. And today's video is about hive beetles. Now this year in North Georgia, and most of Georgia, and most of the South, it's been very rainy. This year, anytime you get bad rainy conditions, it can cause a lot of hive beetle problems. Uh, our chickens usually do very well keeping the hive beetle population down but even this year the chickens I had to pin some of them up because they was getting into the neighbor stuff so I pinned those chickens up about two months ago and I could tell a huge difference in the hive beetle population and so sometimes you have to go in and it's good at least if you have a high beetle problem it's good to go in at least once a week clean the bottom out make sure there's no webbing well, I've had a video went over all that and sometimes that's not even good enough sometimes you need to set you some traps to try to reduce the population of high beetles so what we got today here's what we're using we're using CD cases. The darker the better. If you can find some that's dark because the, the hive beetles like going into a dark enclosure. So what we got, this contraption right here, this mixture is Crisco, a dab of honey, and boric acid. And I know some people's not going to agree with that, but Sometimes, especially the new beekeeper, sometimes it's it's either do something like that or lose your hive because if the population gets so great, those bees will leave and you'll lose your bees. So boric acid, uh, people's been using it for years in the political signs and in these kind of traps and it poses no problems whatsoever. And it's better than losing your bees. So your bees will leave if the hive beetle population gets too many in there so we uh there's really no recipe for this just put you some maybe a couple tablespoons of crisco into a styrofoam cup put you about a, a teaspoon of boric acid and just maybe a teaspoon of honey and mix it together and uh and dab that on your cd case and then what you want then is, let me turn it here in the sun, where you can see there's a little opening there, there, and on this side. It gives them three openings to get in. And then what I do next is I'll place this in the hive. And I like pushing them towards the back because that's where a lot of the hive beetles congregate and the bees will corral them in, into those spots. So there's that. And then another thing that you can do, get some of my hive put back together here. are these beetle blasters these work very well you slide it in and what I've done or what I use I use a little bit of apple cider vinegar this is Bragg's van but brand but you can use any kind of apple cider vinegar and fill up your trap Put a little bit in there and then put you a little bit of vegetable oil on top of that it doesn't take much of the vegetable oil you just need a just a very small layer on top to drown the hive beetles and and that's about it i don't always put this combination with this 
the hive right here, it didn't have that many beetles in it. Some have more. Um, it just depends. I'm a firm believer in keeping your bees in the sun if you can. Uh, I've heard people say oh, it doesn't matter, but I'm telling you, I'm speaking from experience. I've put them in shade and I've put them in direct sun and the hive beetles will will love the, the hives that are in the shade. That's just, uh, some people tell you that's not the case, but I'm telling you, it's true. And the only way to really know for yourself is, is to try to experiment for yourself. Put you some in the shade and put you some in the sun and see which ones fare the best. But I can assure you the ones in the sun will fare the best. And that's about it. This one's set up, ready to go. And that'll catch the, the, the ones coming up towards the top. It'll get the ones going towards the bottom. Uh, empty those trays out every... If you don't have many high beetles like it is in this one, maybe once a week, check it. But if you have a, a high population, then you'll want to check it every couple of days. So I just wanted to put that little video out to help the new beekeepers out to try to get you through the, the summer in the fall. Remember, uh, we're in a dearth if you can. Keep your bees fed. Keep them going strong. And please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. Barnyard Bees.